Hey, brother! Welcome to my channel, you guys. If you're new, my name is Cass. Thank you for being here. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different um, from what I regularly do on my channel, which is talk about something that's actually important. I had the idea to make this video and I posted about it on my Instagram and a lot of people really wanted me to make it, so I decided that I will. So while I explain to you what's going on, I am going to moisturize my face with, with this and I'm going to prep my face with, with this. So a lot of people ask me what my ethnicity is. It's actually the most asked question I get on Twitter and Instagram or like anywhere people are like, where are you from? I don't understand your features confuse me. I'm Indian, yes, curry and all. Cool. Oh. So today we're gonna be talking about colorism in India and you might be wondering, has what's colorism? Merriam-Webster's dictionary definition of colorism is, I'm just kidding you guys, this is not a paper I'm writing the night before. As my foundation shades, I'm going to take this and this from the Anastasia Beverly Hills deep contour kit palette thing and the shades are in cinnamon and nude and I just kind of mix them together and it works good. So basically what today's look is kind of about is showing people that dark brown isn't bad. Okay, let me explain what colorism is kind of fast and then I will explain what I'm doing. <laughs> so basically, colorism is this idea in India that the lighter you are, the more beautiful you are. And this isn't just an Indian exclusive issue. There's a lot of cultures that see things like that. Some cultures don't use skin color. They use facial features, whether they're more flat or more pronounced. That is basically how beautiful you are. But I, I'm talking about colorism in India because I'm Indian and I have experience with that. You know what I mean? Ha. So essentially there are girls growing up in India who are darker in complexion who are compared to girls that have lighter complexions and they're told that, hey, this is what is beautiful and because you were born this way, and it frustrates me because we're the same race, you know? It's just, it's so crazy to me that because you were born in a certain part of India, you're just deemed better because you have lighter skin. Basically what I mean is in the northern part of India, people are born lighter because, I don't know, some scientific fact, my mom always says they were like mixed with like Persians or whatever. I don't know if that's true, but like they're just, they're just born lighter. And the people that are in the southern parts of India, they are born darker. This isn't like exclusive, like there are definitely places that have both, but that's generally the case. If you don't know, India is divided up into different states, kind of like the U.S. Um, the state I'm from is Tamil Nadu, it's in the southern part of India. Basically, the state is known for having super dark people and a lot of India just basically says that Tamil people are the ugliest people, <laughs> which is not true. I, I resent that. I started talking about this issue a couple months ago and since I've started talking about that, so many Indian girls have contacted me and told me that in their household they were also told these things. They've experienced a lot of hatred towards their skin tone just because they were born darker than the rest of their family, which is definitely something I've experienced as well. And so I really wanted to make a video talking about it because I've like, I've made like Instagram captions about it and that's not good enough for me. So today we're gonna be using all browns because I just wanna show people that being dark and brown doesn't have to be ugly. In fact, it's not ugly. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> In fact, it's quite beautiful. <laughs> To highlight my face, I'm gonna be using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. So let me tell you guys what I have experienced 
do to this. I've experienced quite a lot actually. Um, and it's one of those things that happened to me and I didn't really know that it was bad until I kind of got go oh, until I kind of got older and I thought about it more. I just feel like now people talk a lot about the discrimination they faced and usually when something happens to me that has something to do with race or just like prejudice in general, I don't tend to dwell on it. I just kind of, I just keep moving because there's really no point in thinking about it for a long time and feeling angry and sad and putting yourself down because you were born a certain way because it's just, it doesn't help. You just gotta, gotta keep it moving, gotta keep it moving. When I moved to America, I moved to Indiana, which is one of the most racist places in the world. It was a horrible experience. There were a lot of good people too. There are a lot of great people in Indiana as well, but overall, I experienced a lot of discrimination there because of my skin color. I feel like when I moved here, people looked at me and they didn't understand what they were looking at. They were confused, they didn't know what I was. And it was just so bizarre to me because like, I'm Indian. I just, I don't think it's that hard to see, but for a lot of people, they don't understand what they're looking at. So there's the pain of that that people go through, but then on top of that, to be discriminated by your own people. That's, it's pretty bad, man. <laughs> My grandmother was born extremely light. Um, she essentially just looks Caucasian. <laughs> and being from the state that I'm from, people thought that was incredible. That's something that people praise a lot. Um, people always talk about it in my family. It's something that's a big deal for us. I grew up with everyone always saying, wow, like, she's so beautiful, which she is. My grandmother is such a pretty woman, but it's not because of her skin color. It's because of her features, and it's because she's kind and prayerful and those kinds of things. It's not because she's light. While I was growing up, I had people telling me a bunch of different concoctions I could mix together in my kitchen and put on my face. And then maybe over like the span of like two years after doing that every single day, it would lighten my skin tone. I've had people at Indian salons ask me to bleach my skin because it'll look better on me. I've had people literally come up to me and tell me in India, wow, you're so beautiful for a dark girl. And it's something that always bothered me and made me really upset because for a really long time when I was younger, I just, I felt so ugly. Among my friends that were Indian, I was the darkest, which meant I was the ugliest and people were always talking about it. It's something that Indians always talk about and it's insane because it doesn't matter. I'm blushing my face with Stubborn by MAC. Don't mind this nail. I broke it at Disneyland, fighting every dance team I saw there. I remember when I was a kid, my mom wouldn't let me really go to a swimming pool without like layers and layers and layers of sunblock because she was scared that I was gonna get tanner. And she would always say, how am I supposed to take you home to India if you look this tan? Even some of the comments I've gotten online, people are like, wow, you're so dark. That's interesting. Like, what's so interesting about that? I don't, I don't get it. I'm using Soft and Gentle by MAC as my highlight today. Colorism is an issue because there are so many dark brown girls like me that look in the mirror and they see what our society wants us to see and that's ugly. If you're not Indian, I don't know if you know about this. There's a product called Fair and Lovely that is directly targeted to Indian men and women basically promising that it will lighten your skin and that'll make you look more fair and lovely. Ugh. And I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody for this because when a culture believes something so strongly and they have for generations, people just grow up believing things like this. I read a comment under one of my posts about this the other day and someone said, colorism in India is really difficult because when you're living in India, you don't 
you don't notice it. You only realize that that's a thing when you leave India and you're like, wow, this really is a problem. I'm just gonna use this NYX liquid suede and this e.l.f. lip gloss because I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. As I was saying, I'm just gonna wait until this dries to top it off with the gloss. So while I was growing up, I had really, really, really bad self-esteem. If you've watched my last video, you know why. I know now it's like funny and it's whatever. It's okay because like I'm pretty as hell, but like before I didn't really know it was gonna turn out like this, you know? <laughs> I had glasses because I couldn't wear contacts because I was too young. I had braces because my teeth were majorly fucked and I, I didn't wear makeup because my mom didn't let me for a while. Um, I couldn't. Um, get rid of the facial hair that I had above my lips or like my unibrow. I had hairy arms and hairy legs, which made me feel so insecure. Um, and like, it's just something that comes along with being Indian and that made me hate being Indian. It made me hate my culture and I just wish I was born like white or black or Asian or not Indian. Or like, if I would go home to India, people would be like, oh my God, you've gotten so tan. And it just, it made me feel so uncomfortable in my own skin. I already hated what was on the outside. I hated what my face looked like. I hated every part of my body because I was just like, I was hairy and I didn't like that and I wasn't able to change that. And then I also was told that I should hate the color of my skin and that just like that was everything that was every single thing about myself and i just felt horrid <laughs> now that i'm older and now that i feel this way i don't want other people to feel like this because it felt so bad for so long i really i really hated myself i guarantee you if you would have asked me one of those days like how my self-esteem was doing or if there was something that I didn't like about myself, I would genuinely tell you that there was nothing that I liked at all. And that obviously stems from so many other things than just self-esteem, but this was a really, really, really bad thing that just kind of fueled the fire for me. I'm just gonna take this clear gloss and put it on my lips. Man, I was trying to make this video funny, but it didn't really work out like that. I'm sorry, you guys. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I know this video is kind of long and I really apologize. I, I kind of expected it to be long because I have a lot of things to say about this. Now that I've prepped my eyes, I'm going to use this Clinique powder to set the rest of my face, including my eyes. I'm sorry, I just... Oh, this is why the beauty group... Guys, this is why they do that, because it just, oh my god. I've gotten a lot of comments from a lot of people talking about how they have friends who are Indian or not Indian, and they always make fun of them for how dark they are. And like some of the comments that I've gotten have literally just broken my heart, because it's so sad. Some girl said that her friends always call her um, shit face. If your friends compare you to shit, you need to sit them down. <laughs> Cause either they're not your real friends or they don't know that it's hurting your feelings and you gotta let them know. Next I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm using this ColourPop brow thing. And it is in black and brown. I really just wanted to make this video to tell people and show people that they aren't the only ones that are feeling this way. I know that when you're Indian, it's it's a very it's a very unique culture to be from. There are a lot of elements to it. There are a lot of issues that you face. There are a lot of stereotypes that you face and it's it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. It's it's hard. I grew up hating where I was from, what I looked like. Um, the language I spoke, I just, I, I didn't want to feel different. I wanted to feel like I belonged somewhere. 
Hey guys, like, one perk about being Indian and having, like, rapid hair growth is that your eyebrows are really pretty, so that's nice. It's funny, I actually talked about this in my other video about how recently people have gotten so good at makeup, but, like, a couple years ago, people didn't really know how to do makeup. It wasn't really something that, like, people were very skilled in. I legitimately believed that there was no makeup in the world for me. Like, when I was in middle school, I genuinely believed that I was too dark for anyone to manufacture makeup for me. And, like, even that made me feel really, really bad. Because in my mind, I was like, well, I'm too dark for lipstick to show up on me. I'm too dark for people to make a foundation that's my color. I'm too dark to wear pale pinks because when I was in middle school, everyone was wearing like the pale pink lip gloss and that just like, it doesn't look good on my skin because it's, it's too pale for me. So we're gonna start on the eyes. Today I'm gonna be using my Morphe palette and we're gonna do a brown halo eye. Wow, how original of me. So I'm gonna be dusting this shade all over my lid so all of the browns can blend together beautifully. I know that this video's been a little bit rambly, but I've really, really wanted to talk about this because it really was a big issue for me while I was growing up, and if there's anybody out there that was remotely like me in middle school or even in high school that is feeling these things because of their friends or their family or just what people say online. I really want them to understand that it, it really isn't as big of a deal as they think it is. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of our darker brown and kind of using it as a transition shade. So I'm just putting that in my crease. And I'm just doing the same for the other side. Okay, I've kind of smoked it out a little bit and now I'm just going to go on my lid and pat down a very dark brown shadow. I know this video is quite rambly and ranty, but I, I think it's important to talk about. I haven't really seen that many people talk about it. In fact, I haven't seen anybody talk about it on YouTube that I that I know of anyway. And in the Indian community and even in other minority communities, I feel like it's something that people go through quite a lot, but nobody really discusses. I'm not really sure why, but that's just kind of how it's been. I feel like people get very involved in talking about how great um, their race is and how wonderful where they come from is and how wonderful their culture is, which I, I definitely believe. I really think that being Indian is amazing. I think that our culture is one of the greatest cultures out there because it's so old and it's so diverse and it's like, there's so much to be explored in just one part of the world, but that doesn't mean there are things that aren't wrong and things that we need to be able to fix. I'm just kind of blending out the edges so that it doesn't look so harsh. All right, now we're gonna do the halo. So basically what I do to do a halo eye because it's hard to get things to show up on my skin tone, I use the primer potion again as kind of a base for the glitter. I know a lot of people do that, but I also do that. So I'm just kind of putting some of this on the back of my hand. Oh. And I'm just putting it on the middle of the eye where I think the glitter would look best. Basically what we want to do is concentrate it in the middle and then kind of just pat it out to the side because you want the most concentration to be on the middle and that just makes it easier to blend. You've probably thrown all of these away, but I'm taking one of these little eyeshadow applicator things. I find that these are really, really easy to use to pack on glitter because brushes just kind of make it less like intense. So I'm gonna be taking this Sephora palette. It is the Primal Instincts palette. This is kind of like the oldest eyeshadow palette that's in existence. So I'm just dabbing it on. As I said before, most intense in the front. What? Blend it out. Blend it out. Wow, looking good. 
Now I'm just gonna do the same with the other eye. If you've never used Urban Decay Primer Potion, it kinda has the consistency of vomit. I was quite surprised when I first opened mine and used it. I like really thought it was just gonna be like clear and smooth and beautiful, but like, I mean, it works really well, so who cares? Now I'm just taking the dark shade again and kind of blending this in more so it doesn't look crazy. This kind of takes a while. You just kind of like keep applying the product on until you like the look that it gives you. I'm gonna put some of this on my inner corner. Oh, right, you guys, I'm so sorry this wasn't like funny. I, I usually am funny. I'm a funny person. And I was kind of scared it was gonna turn into this because I didn't want it to be like a super sit down video of me like being sad and crying, <laughs> but like that's kind of what it turned into. I'm gonna put on some mascara. <gasps> I forgot nose highlight. <sighs> mm, that's better. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's pretty simple. It's nothing too complicated. I'm sure you could definitely figure out how to do this yourself if you wanted to. I mostly just really wanted to talk about this issue because it's something that comes up in my DMs a lot. A lot of people ask me about it and it's something that I think about a lot and it's something that I've been through for a really long time and I wanted other people to know that it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> I want to make more videos about this topic in a more not a serious kind of way, but a more research and a more structured kind of way. This is just kind of my way of talking about something that I care about and sharing it with you guys and wanting to hear your feedback. I would love to see your recreations of this look. If you want to also talk about colorism in India or in your culture or whatever, this is a cause that I really want to fight for because it's something that I felt so personally and so many Indian people, men and women, feel so personally about. And maybe next time I could find a school in South India or something like that we can donate money to. I don't really know how any of that works, which is why I haven't done that now. But that is something I really, 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 really want to do. <laughs> if you recreate this look, please let me know. Send this to me, tweet this to me, whatever, but let me know. I would really, really like to see that. I try to make it pretty easy because number one, people like easy tutorials, and number two, I really don't know how to do complicated makeup, so... If you want to follow me, all of my links are on the screen and also down below. Also, all the makeup that I've used today is down below as well in case you missed something. If you have any questions or concerns or comments or whatever, if you think I'm stupid or pretty or ugly, please let me know on Instagram and Twitter. I usually get back to people within a day or two unless you're creepy as hell. Or in that case, I'll get back to you in like three days. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Continue being a J-Ho, and I'll see you next time.